everyone! We're back to Shadow Hearts. Um, we're continuing to work on some of the side quests. This next one, we get to play as Karen. Yay! You know how much I love that. But at least, um, I don't think I'll have to do, um, any fighting, really. So, to wait and see. Okay, um... So there's no need to save because we just save. We just loaded. We have to go this way. Go. We have talked to the locksmith, so I don't know if he's gonna be in the same spot that he was before. the storeroom. Yeah, we must have already uh, started that scene when we went back for the Lenny part. Okay, so this is the storeroom. Doesn't look like anything strange is going on. What's the matter? I don't know. I'm shaking all of a sudden. But not because I'm scared. I have this funny, familiar feeling like someone is calling to me. Huh? I want to go. I have this feeling I was meant to. Okay, let's do it. Let's check it out. First, we've got to move this stuff. All right, I'll lend a hand. Oh, Joachim. <laughs> we found the secret entrance. It's pitch black down there. Yuri, hand me the lantern. Here you go. We better watch out. This looks pretty dangerous. Okay. There's no map. That's rude. you guys what yes he's see-through this guy is see-through yeah pretty ghostly huh and see-through thing I'm a ghost after all <laughs> what's up with this ghost he seems pretty weird excuse me but I think somebody was calling to me down here do you know who calling you. That must mean the soul of somebody close to you is shut up somewhere in these ruins. The soul of somebody close to me? Yeah. They call it the Fort of Regrets. It's a place where souls who are still attached to this world can gather. So the person who called me, that person's soul, is somewhere in here? That's right, but it might be hard to find them. This fort has multiple levels, and the doors are all sealed. To break the seals, you have to help all the souls in the level rest in peace. Sounds like quite a job, huh? I see. Thank you for your help. You're welcome. Glad to help, you know. Stop and talk to me next time you see me. Um, okay. So, first guy says to the right. Somewhere. Hello? You might remember this guy! Finally! People! All the hollering I did finally paid off! Sorry, forgot to introduce myself. I'm Darcy. I... I died in the earthquake the other day. Oh, Nice to meet you. 
So you regret losing your life in an earthquake? And that's why you're here? No, not that! <laughs> it's just that right at the next... At right at the time of the earthquake, I was right in the middle of, um, doing my duty. If you know what I mean. <clears throat> anyway, I, I, I died before I had a chance to wipe. You can't imagine the itch or the smell. Please, you've got to give me some paper. You know, something really soft, white and fluffy. We have some tissues. Oh, paper! Oh, I've dreamt. Uh, dreamed about you. I would say dreamt, but anyway. Thank you. I'll never forget your help. Excuse me while I use this right away. Oh, sweet, blessed relief. Um, excuse me, Darcy? Looks like he's gone. Uh, yeah, he's the guy who is in Shadow Hearts also needs uh, paper at the time. Um, what the heck? So the next guy's to the right, but there's no other right. Let's try right again. No. 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 Maybe, maybe they mean the left. Hello. Are you a soul with regrets? I suppose I am. Say, I know we only just met and and all, but can you do me a favor? It's nothing hard. Could you give this ring to a woman in La Havre named Myrene? This is an engagement ring, isn't it? Yeah, I bought it in one of the ports along way along the way, but my ship went down in the storm before I could get home. I know it's too late to propose to her now, after all, but don't say that. I bet Irene's been waiting for you this whole time. I'll give it to her, I promise. See, at least with this, we're just doing tasks. I don't have to actually play as Karen. Thank God. Okay, so now we gotta go to the hive. And get caught on things. As we do. I definitely like the side quests in the other game better. These, I feel like there's there's a lot of side quests. And at this point, I just kind of want to finish with the game. Hello, pink bat! Eek! Eek! <laughs> Little human boy, sure, cute! It's the cranky lady. Excuse me, but are you Irene? Yes. Why? Who are you? And how do you know my name? I'm Karen. A man named Serge asked me to give this to you. He didn't tell us his name. It's kind of old-fashioned, but not a bad little ring. Never heard of this Serge fellow, but I'll take it. What? You don't know Serge? He was going to ask you to marry him. Marry? Wait. Ridiculous! I've been married to my husband now for decades! I haven't got time to stand around talking all day. But if you're done, then beat it! Aww. What? You again? I'm busy, you know. If you don't have any proper business with me, then just leave me alone. Aww. Well, that's sad. I mean, he's a bitch and all, but... Poor, poor guy. Got me away. God... Now we're gonna save. How did it go? D did you see Irene? 
And give her the ring? Well, the thing is, Irene is an elderly lady now, and she's already married. I see. I didn't realize so much time had passed. So, did Irene remember me? Or did she already forget about all about me? Oh, she remembered you! Of course! She was surprised when I handed her the ring, but she was really glad. Was she? That's good. I really appreciate what you did, Karen. When I see Irene in the next world, I'll be able to tell her how I feel myself. Yeah, good luck with that. I don't see any weird atmosphere coming from the store. I bet it'll open. I guess... If you try to... We'll come back to you. It won't open. We have to help all the souls rest in peace first. Oh my god. He's, why are you standing next to a guillotine? do next to you too. Excuse me, is something wrong? I'm embarrassed to admit it, but I can't remember my name. And I've been racking my brains, but I can't come up with it. Your name? Right now. This is the only clue I have. It's scratched and I can't read it. But it looks like there's a name engraved. Huh. There's a lot I remember. This little girl, what the fuck? It said to go right and that he was gonna be... Everyone here is the same. They've got too many regrets to rest in peace. I'm no different. I died without ever having done the lottery. What a pitiful lottery member. Please, play the lottery. Okay, just stay away from me. Being in their mind's eye here. At last, let the lottery begin. This is great. Oh, well, I was way off. I get terror extracts, that's cool. Let me give you the, your prize. That's what lottery members live and die for. It's, it's not enough. More! More! More lottery! Everyone here is the same. That oh, way off again. Got more tissues. Mocking losers and then offering them tissues. That's what lottery members live and die for. Oh well, we already have a mind's eye, so that's fine. Oh, the light! I can see the light! Thank you, now I can rest in peace. <laughs> oh my, what's the matter, little girl? Don't cry. I'm scared. The scary ogre's mouse is staring at me. <laughs> Mommy left the mask in my room. She said, let the ogress eat you then. <laughs> I'm scared. Poor little thing. Yeah, I know. We'll go take the ma that mask for you. Far, far away, okay? You will? Far, far away? You bet. So cheer up, okay? Okay. I won't cry anymore. Thank you, lady. If we just throw it away somewhere, I bet it'll put a curse on us. Maybe we can find somebody who wants it. Okay, so now we gotta leave and take care of these things. How do I take care of the broken watch?
This is like item training, but at least it's quick, I guess. There's so many freaking side quests in this game. It's ridiculous. I think about all the stuff we had to do the entire time, like the item trading, the new belong things, the wolf bouts. Okay, this is what it says about the mask. Uh, da -da -da, for unloading the mask, this was kind of tricky. No one in Japan would probably want it since they're not so rare over there. If you've been chatting it up in Paris Cathedral District, you would have seen a Japanophile hanging around outside the shop who's taking a special interest in Yuri since he's half Japanese. <laughs> I've not been chatting up in Paris apparently. I don't know which shop they're talking about though. Oh, this is a shop. Nope. I just left. I hate when I do that. There we go. Japanophile Taylor. What? What's that you're holding? Why, is that a Japanese ogre's mask? Yes, that's right. I'll give it to you if you like. You will? Really? What luck. A real Japanese ogre's mask. Thank you very much. Banzai! I'm glad you like it. Oh. Okay. I wanted to see what he had to say about Yuri being half Japanese, but that's fine. Alright, now what do we do? Okay. Now we go to Japan. Maybe. Is it Imperial Capital? No. Yokohama? Yes, okay. Since he was a sailor, and this is on the... water, more or less. Excuse me, miss. Where did you get that watch? Somebody asked me to hang on to it. Do you know the person it belongs to? May I see it? Yes. It's scratched, but I can see the engraving. It belongs to the person in this grave. Major Wayne Hashida. Died 1894. Are you sure this is him? Yes. Died in action and promoted for his bravery. Not many half Japanese soldiers, so I'm sure it's him. I see. Thank you very much, sir. Bye. I'm so glad Karen gets this random side quest. And that I don't have to actually fight anything with her. Thank God. Oh, it's you! Did you get rid of that awful mask? Yes, you're all right now. I got rid of it in a place far, far away. Good! The bad ogres is all gone. I'm not scared anymore. <laughs> I did a good deed. <laughs> Yo. Hello again. I found out your name. You did? What is it? Wayne Hashida, lieutenant in the Japanese army. I saw your tombstone in the foreigner's cemetery in Yokohama. Wayne Hashida. Yes. Th that's it. They named me after my mother's father. Thank you so much. I feel so much better now. I just keep adding more things that are not in the... Not what's actually there. I can't thank you enough. I, so I feel so relieved now. Like my spirit is free. My body is starting to get light. Goodbye. I don't sense a weird atmosphere coming from the store. I bet it'll open. I'm the only one left on this level. I guess that means you have to help me rest in peace before we can go on. But I can't remember what's holding me back. If only I had something that would help me remember. <sighs> oh. 
out again. This wouldn't be as ba that bad if I didn't have to keep fucking going back and forth all the time. Hey, folks! Take my advice and get away from this beach fast as you can. Huh? What's the matter? Is there something wrong with this place? Shh! Not so loud. There's an ancient weapon lurking somewhere on this beach that could destroy the whole world. Ancient weapons? You're pulling on my leg. I'm uh, pulling on our legs, right, Gramps? <laughs> I don't blame you for doubting me. But 50 years ago, I saw an inscription that told me all about it. I've been searching the beach ever since, but I haven't found anything yet. <sighs> if only my friend hadn't left me back then, I bet we would have found it. Okay. Now the game's just gonna get annoying. This is my least favorite side quest so far, anyway. You think, oh, this would be easy. It's just annoying. You run back and forth all the time. And then this next bit is gonna make it even more annoying. We met a kind of funny professor on the beach in Cairns. Is he a friend of yours? Funny professor on the beach? Was it Professor Stein? I couldn't remember for so long. But when you opened that door f for me, I started to remember a few things. Professor Stein said something... Some pretty troubling things. Something about a friend that left him years ago? Hey! That makes it sound like I'm a terrible person! <laughs> Somebody that would betray his friend! Well, I never. Just kidding. I don't really know what happened. My memories are still pretty vague around that time. I see. So now you have to leave. I don't know if we have to go all the way out or what, but I'm just gonna go all the way out. Do you remember shit now? You're here! We waited for you! Guess what? My memory is back, see? What do you mean, see? Ha ha ha. Anyway, I've got a favor to ask. You want to go further, right? I died while I was investigating these ruins. And I know everything about them before I can... I, I have to know everything about them before I can rest in peace. Everything. But we don't know anything about investigating ruins. Don't worry about that. Something in the... Somewhere in the world I hear there's a mysterious stone tablet called the Hier Hieroglyphics. I hear this tablet tells of the mysteries of the ruins on Earth. I want you to find it for me. The hieroglyphics tablets? So, we find it and just bring it back to you? That's exactly right. You guys are so understanding. Really appreciate it. I already have them. Professor! We found it! The hieroglyphics tablet! It's a little chipped, though. You mean it really does exist? This hieroglyphic tablet thingy? Good thing I asked you just in case. Hey! You didn't even know it really existed? Anyway, I, I, I'll just get down to reading it. <laughs> Here, I see. What do you know? Well, And does it tell you what you wanted to know? Well, you already heard, didn't you? About the weapon that could destroy the world. I thought it... I thought it was in this fort. But the tablet says it's on the beach in Cairns. So the professor's sign was right. I'm not too happy about it, but yes. Looks like it. By the way, what year is it now? It's 1915. Why? Yikes! Big trouble. This is the year the weapon's supposed to go off. No time to explain. I'm already dead. But you guys are going to die too if you don't hurry. Quick! Take the hieroglyphics tablets the professor's sign right away. Yep, I'm so scared. The world's gonna end. I wonder if I'll cut all this out. Probably, because why would you guys want to see me run back and forth? I don't even want to see me run back and forth. What's this? I don't know if I was supposed to do this first or not. Oh, okay. What do we have here? What a cool looking toy! Hold on. Do you hear voices coming from inside? I think she's right. 
Sounds like little people in there. Hmm. Nice submarine. What? You mean it's not a toy? Displacement. 20,000 tons. It's wave engine that degenerates... Degenerative furnaces have made unlimited travel possible. The legendary submarine that brought star travel within the grasp of mankind. Its name? The Nautilus. Which is the name of the company that makes this, so, yeah. How long do you think he's gonna talk? Don't worry. This is his last weapon. Let him get it out of his system. You got Nautilus. Yes, I can see it now, cruising briskly through the waters of men's dreams. The Nautilus surges forward, leaving the trail of men's happiness and aspirations in its wake. What splendor, what magnificent magnificence. So, you want to get something to eat? Sounds good. But you're a bat. Oh wow, raises it quite a bit. Legendary submarine that has crossed the stars. Uh, a timeless vessel that continues its journey through the seas of the s and of the stars. A gentleman's agreement prevents it from its powerful weapons from being used. All oh, right, that's Lenny's friends. Hey, there he is. You're not on the beach today. There were a few documents I wanted to look into, but what were all of you still doing in Cannes? We came back to find you. A certain man asked us to give this to you. Something for me. Let's have a look. It's the hieroglyphic tablets. Where did you get this? And from who? We'll find you in... We'll, f well, we'll fill you in later. The man told us we really had to hurry. Could you just take a look at it now? Alright. Mm, well... Uh, what do you know? Hmm, I see. What? Oh, no! If this is true... The world is going to be destroyed. We must find that weapon, the Nautilus, as quickly as possible. The Nautilus? We just picked it up on the beach. What? You did? Just now. We found it washed up on the shore. You did? <gasps> oh no. We have to destroy it immediately before it wipes out the entire planet. Don't worry. I've got a crew. I've got the crew nice... <laughs> blah, 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 blah. Don't worry. I gave the crew a nice little talking to. When the hell did you do that? Do you really think it's safe now? You bet. We made an, a nice little agreement among gentlemen. They gave me their word. No need to worry. So I guess that's what I was talking about in the description. Hmm. It's a little hard to believe, but if what you say is true, and the whole world owes you its gratitude. No need to thank us. We didn't do a thing. We just saved the world again. I mean, come on. <laughs> I'm really glad. It looks like all my research wasn't in vain after all. By the way, it was Professor Mancini who asked you to bring me this stone tablet, wasn't it? Well, what? Well, uh, we... You don't have to hide it. He and I were just about the only ones that could read this, the hieroglyphics habits. Give him a message for me, will you? Tell him, nah, nah, I want this one. You owe me a beer. Well, let's get going. We've got a message to deliver, I guess. How did it go? Did you give the tablet to Professor Stein? Yes. And it looks like we managed to stop the destruction of the world for now, too. Ha ha ha. 
Thanks to me. We've got a message for you. Ahem. <laughs> nah, nah. I won this one. You owe me a beer. Stein said that? <laughs> hey, I finally remembered. Why I couldn't rest in peace. My regret wasn't in these ruins. My regret was abandoning Stein that time to follow my own research. Gee, Professor Mancini. Now I really see why they call this place the Fort of Regrets. The souls that gather here get to experience their important memories one more time before they go. Thanks for all your help, guys. I guess I'll be leaving now. I have to clear out if you guys want to get any further, right? Wait! Don't you have a message for Professor Stein? Nah, guess not. I'll apologize to him in person when he gets to heaven. I'll be waiting with a nice cold beer. There you are at last, Karen. You shouldn't keep an old lady waiting, you know. Grandma? Grandma Doris, is that you? What? Child, have you forgotten your grandmother's face already? Of course I haven't. It's just that... This is so sudden. I'm sorry, Grandma. It was all my fault. Karen, you have to stop blaming yourself for everything. It's one of your bad habits, you know. But... My death and what happened to the Coens was none of your fault. We were the ones that were powerless. Besides, I'm kind of glad it happened. I'm sorry you don't have a home to go back to, though. Glad? Why, Grandma? Joining the military when you didn't want to, fighting for the family name, wasting your precious youth. I hated to have to see you in those, do those things. You always had a brave smile, but I knew and I couldn't stand it. But now you have nothing tying you down. You're truly free now. I'm sorry, Grandma. I never even realized how hard it was for you, how much you worried about me. How could I possibly rest in peace as worried as I was about you as I was? But now I've said what I wanted, and I'm satisfied. Oh, I wanted to give you this. Hold on to it now. Karen's ultimate weapon. Hold on to it? Grandma, this is Grandpa's sword. You want me to have this? Have you forgotten what I just said? The family is gone. Our name is gone. There's nothing holding you back now. This is the start of your new free life as an independent woman. You'll need that sword to keep you safe. If you're sure. Okay. Thanks, Grandma. Oh my goodness. There's nothing to cry about, my dear. Everybody, take good care of my granddaughter. She can get herself into trouble at times. <laughs> we'll try. But usually she's the one taking care of us. <laughs> That's right. Karen and I are the only ones... Who know what we're doing in this group? Yeah, and keeps us straight, you know. Oh, you guys. <laughs> You're very nice friends. I don't have to worry about you anymore. Goodbye, Karen. I hope I won't see you in the next world for a long, long time. I promise I'll live my life the best way I can. Thank you, Grandma. She's got nothing outside. The sword of a legendary hero, Roland. A sort of French hero, Roland. This enchanted blade slices rock as though it were paper. Well, that's interesting because I thought she was German. Now you're gonna make us leave? We don't even get teleported out of here? 
my god, this is the most annoying side quest ever. <laughs> 